All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is I do 7.6H. I do 7.6H. As always, we'll begin with our rules, procedural and conceptual strategy. All right, so let's read. Orlando sports card collection features players from four teams as shown in the table below. So the sports card collection, the teams on the left column and the number on the right column. The teams are Mavericks, Astros, Cowboys, Texans, and the numbers are 15, 8, 12, 21. Now let's read the um, down to the specific question. Orlando selects a card at random based on the information in the table, which statement is true. Let's read the answer options. A, the card is six times as likely to show a player from the Texans as from the Mavericks. B, the card is equally likely to show a player from any of the four teams. C, the answer that I chose, the card is more likely to show a player from the Texans than from the Astros or Cowboys. D, the card is two times likely to show a player from the Mavericks as from the Astros. So we've read the question. What we'll do now is we'll circle the R, okay? Now we'll go to the U. We're gonna underline the specific question. So based on the information on the table, which statement is true, okay? Circle the R. Now we're going to label and annotate, boxing all keywords, and circling or putting an oval around all of the numbers, okay? So, okay, um, this is the, okay, um, players from four teams. Okay, so these are the, or let's just a card at random. Okay, so these are the number of cards. So this is the number of cards. Number of cards. And these are the teams. Okay. So we did a little bit of labeling. Now we're going to evaluate. Okay. So let's see. So it looks like there's 21 Texans, 12 Cowboys, 8 Astros, 15 Mavericks, okay? So I'll, I'll number these in order of amount. So Texans would be number one because there's 21 cards. Mavericks would be number two. Cowboys would be number three. And Astros would be number four. Okay, that's the smallest amount. Now let's go back over the options and select the correct one. The card is six times as likely to show a player from the Texans as from Mavericks. So it's not six times as likely, but it is more likely. It is more likely. Okay, but not six times because if it was six times as likely to show Texans as Mavericks, it would be six times 15. Okay, because six times 15 would be 30, would be 90. Okay, and as we know, 21 does not equal to 90. That's why the answer is not A. Let's look for answer, look at choice B. The card is equally likely to show a player from any of the four teams. Okay, this is not true. Okay, is not, is not likely. So I, I wrote the word not in here. Okay, to show a player from any of the four teams. Why is that the case? The case is because there's 20, um, 35, there's 46 total cards, right? There's 46 cards in four teams. And so they're not all even. Some have 15, some have eight, some have 12, 20, some have 21. So they're not, not, not even. So the amount of cards is not even or not equal. Okay, so it's not gonna be B. Let's look at choice C. The card is more likely to show a player from Texans than from Astros or Cowboys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the logical or operator, which means that if you look at the scenario, if one of the scenarios is true, the entire statement is true, okay? So let me write that down. Whenever you see or, okay, if one situation is true, It's all true. Okay, it's all true. So let's look at this. 
the card is more likely to show a player from Texas that Texans than from Astros. So Texans is 21, Astros is eight. That's true. Okay, so that's true. Okay, or Cowboys. So Cowboys is 12, Astros is 21. That's still true. In fact, if you were to add eight plus 12, you get 20, which is still less than 21. Okay, so 21 is still greater than 20, which is the which is the combined amount if you add Astros and Cowboys. So C is a possibility. Let's go to D. The card is two times as likely to show a player from Mavericks as from Astros. Mavericks is 15, Astros is eight, but it's not two times. It's seven, it's seven more. It's seven more, but it's not twice. It's not two times the amount. Because twice would be eight times two which equals 16. And as we know, 16 does not equal to 15, which is the actual amount of Mavericks. So the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is C. The card is more likely to show a player from the Texans, the Texans than from the Astros or Cowboys. We'll also circle the S because we selected the correct answer. And this is how we solve problems like this. Oh. Four is also key information since it's a number. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, whenever you solve problems like these, I'd like to see your rule strategies. And I'd like for you all to solve up your problems in a logical step-by-step -step basis as you saw me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.